Hey, I've always wondered, when he gets home from the gym after a workout, is he men uh, sore? Huh? Huh? Uh. What's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the Transformers Robots in Disguise Combiner Force Menasaur. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Menasaur. I love that design. I think that looks really cool. You have Drag Strip, Slash Mark, Heat Seeker, Motor Master, and Wild Break Combiner Force. I find on this side of the box we have stunticons and more stunticons on the other side of the box we have more stunticons hey look it's a stunticon and a stunticon look another stunticon on the top you have nothing on the bottom you have words and things and copyrights also works with on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and of course if you have the app you can scan the toy unlock stuff in the game and that's basically it for the packaging so moving right along here we have the rid stunt accounts and uh i definitely like this set better than ultra b i definitely like this better than ultra b and maybe that's just my uh my menasaur bias because i am a huge stunticon fan the stunticons are my favorite combiner team so maybe it's just stunticon bias <laughs> and that's why i like this set better but i do i like this set better so let's get down a little lower here so who we have here we have drag strip we have slash mark we have motor master we have heat seeker and we have wild break so we will go through each member one by one here so we will take a look at drag strip you can see done in a nice uh, gold plastic it has a little sparkle 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 and paint wise you just get some uh, red here for the windshields and some purple right up front and you have the silver spoiler in the back that's pretty much it as far as color goes um you roll decently and that's pretty much it and for comparison here it is with the combiner force side swipe you can see how it scales. See how that going on. And yeah, and to transform him, you just stand it up and you just take the section right here. You bring it down to make his feet. You bring the arms out. And there you have a drug strip. That's pretty much all there is to it. And you can see his face right there. Got red on the eyes, purple on the chest. It's a nice metallic purple too. So that looks nice. And that's pretty much it. And as far as articulation, you just have that little bit of inward and outward movement. That's, that's it. So, there you have that. And again, for comparison, here he is with Sideswipe. And you can see they're very similar designs for the, uh, for the arm bots there. So, there you go. And that is it for Drag Strip. So now we will move on to Slash Mark. And you can see the only color on slash mark is just some metallic blue paint on the roof there and some black for the windshields and the windows. And that's it as far as color goes. And he rolls as rolling things should. And for comparison, here it is with the Combiner Force strong arm. As you can see, now it scales there. Same general size. And there you go. And to transform it, you just boop, stand it up, bring the arms out. And you're done. <laughs> so there you have slash mark. And gotta look at the face there. It's actually a nice head sculpt. It'd be nice if it had some more paint on it, but it's actually a nice head sculpt. Red in the eyes. You get the metallic blue there on the chest. And black legs to get a little bit more color there. And again, articulation wise, you just have a little bit of movement there in the shoulders outward. And that's it. So, there you go. And here he is with strong arm. Yeah, you can see how they scale there. And actually a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. And strong arm. There you have that. And there you have Slash Mark. So now we will move on to Heat Seeker. You can see done in that silverish plastic. And you just get red for the windshields and the windows. And you get some red detailing there on the side doors. And that's pretty much it for paint rolls yay rolling um yeah car 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 <laughs> and to transform it just stand it up 
bring the arms out and you are done. Yay! <laughs> Getting in close here. Cat hair, as always, not included. Getting in close here. You can see you got red there for the eyes, a little bit of red on the chest, and the black legs. And that's it. And articulation again, it's just a little bit of movement there in the arms going outward. And that's it. So that you have Heat Seeker. And moving on to Wild Break, and you can see it's the same mold as uh, as Drag Strip, and just a blue car with the red windshields and windows there, and that's pretty much it for color. You got the uh, silver spoiler there, and yeah, it rolls. They roll anyway. And transformation again to stand it up. Bring that section back. Bring the arms out, and voila, Wild Break. And. And close there on the face. Again, nice head sculpt. These do actually have nice head sculpts. Just unfortunately, they're not painted. You just get some red there for the eyes and some red on the chest. And that's it. And again, for articulation, just wag his arms. You can just wag his arms. <laughs> so. There you have Wild Break. And last but not least, we have the Master of Motors. We have Motor Master here. He's a big truck. And you got some black there up front. You have some purple and black on the sides there. Purple there. Uh, you have the sticker there that you can scan with the app if you want to. Go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. And uh, these two front wheels can roll. These four back wheels can roll. These wheels right here are just molded in place. But you can roll as rolling things should. Um, you do also get the combined mode sword right here, which is just done in that silver plastic. There is some black paint on the blade, but they didn't paint both sides. They only painted the one side. Don't know what that's all about, but okay. Uh, you can store this on MotorMaster. There is a tab right there and a slot on either side here. And you can take it and just tab that on like that. And that looks totally ridiculous, but hey, it's a place to plug the sword if you want to. Um, and again, just like with uh, Ultra B's sword, uh, the handle is on a hinge because Reasons? I don't know. The instructions don't say anything about this. This doesn't make sense. I don't know why. Why? I don't know. But you can store the sword there. Unfortunately, you can't actually... This doesn't come back far enough to where you can actually take the handle and fold it back flush against the back. That would that would actually make that hinge useful, but no. That, that, no. There you, go. you can do that if you want to. But anyway. There you have Motor Master. For comparison, here it is with the Combiner Force Ultra B, or just the Bumblebee portion of Ultra B. You can see how they look with one another. So you got that going on. And yeah, Motor Master. He's a big truck. So to transform him, you're just going to untab the arms right here. Just tab him right there. Take this whole assembly and just bring that down. Split the legs. Rotate them forward. Flip out his feet. Flip out his feet. Flip out his feet. Like that. You have to come up a little bit here. And then you just unhook the arms. You see, kind of, there's a hook tab right there. Just unhook the arms. Bring them out. It's on a double hinge. You just swing that forward, and that tab will just go in right there. And just swing that forward like that. Hey, no, we're not ready for you yet. Bring the arms down. I always manage to hit that button by accident. Bring the arms down, and then you just come in here and flip up his head, and there you have Motor Master. So, there you go. Not a whole lot to him, but you got Motor Master going on right there. Getting close on the head sculpt, and of course, being Motor Master, the head has to be in a box, and it's a very Megatron uh, head sculpt there, as you can see. It's Megatron. It's Megatron. It's Megatron. <laughs> Megatron cosplaying as Motormaster. I don't know. You got red for the eyes there. Um, doesn't have hands or anything, but he's got feet. He's got feet. <laughs> and articulation-wise, uh, you just have outward movement there. You have a hinge right there that swings both ways. Uh, this section is also on a hinge, but that's more for transformation into combined mode. Uh, nothing at the waist. The legs can move outward, so you can do the full splits. You do have a swivel here. Uh, you can move the those up if that serves any purpose for you. That's pretty much it for his articulation. So you got that going on. 
And for comparison, here it is with Ultra B's Bumblebee. See how they look. And here he is with Ultra B's Grimlock. You can see how they look together. So, there you go. So now we will bring in the whole team here. You can take a look at them. There you go. There you have your stunning cons right there. <laughs> Again, they're nothing fantastic. It is what it is. So. Simple, basic, as straight to the point as you can possibly get, really. So, yeah, so let's get them combined, shall we? Let's. So, for a combination, you just take Drex Repair, just bring that back down, lift this panel up, flip out the hands, bring that back down, uh, take the arms, push them back in, take this panel here, flip that down. Extend, and there you have an arm mode. For slash mark, you just push the arms in. You take this whole front section here, and this will swing down like that, and will lock into place. And then this section here, the robot mode legs, are going to come up and over like that. And there you have a leg. And on to Heat Seeker, same thing. Just bring the arms back in. Take this whole front section and just bring that up until it clicks into place. Take the legs, swing them around, and you have another leg. And then wild break, bring the arms in, bring that up, bring that up, bring the arm, I mean bring the hand out, bring that back down, take this panel, put that down, extend, and there you have your other arm, and again the thumbs are on that hinge there so if you want to use them as a left or a right arm you have the option so now you have two arms and now for motor master you're just going to flip down his head you're going to take the arms you're going to swing them up on these hinges here oh you want to bring out the uh combiner connection there swing that all the way up and it will just tab into these two slots right there so just tab that in like that Flip out that connector, bring all this up and around like that, and then you just flip up the feet, and there you go, ready for combination. So, your legs are going to combine right in here, like that, clip right in, like so, bring this up, and then we connect the arms. Um, clickety click click and then last but not least you push the button right here on his belly Oop. and the head flips up and there you have Menasaur and is he mind-blowing earth-shattering no he isn't very simple very basic not a whole lot to it but I do like this set way better than Ultra B I do again could just be my total stunticon bias but I do like this set better than than Ultra B but let's get in close here so you can take a look at the combined mode head and it's actually a nice head sculpt and he's got red in the eyes there and of course black for the helmet and yeah so you have the whole combiner there I actually like how these pieces kind of form like knee pads on them I dig that I could work with that there's the back and yeah now articulation wise uh, you don't have anything at the head you do have that hinge there but that's spring loaded uh, the arms can do a full 360 and that's pretty much it you have a thumb that you can swing around uh, the legs can move outward you have that swivel right there and uh, you do have ankle tilts on this guy. He has ankle tilts. Yay! So, you got that going on. So, again, not super articulated. And you can give him his sword. You can store the sword on his back. You have these tabs here on either side. You can just take the sword, just plug it. Just plug it back there for storage, if you wish. But, of course, a warrior should hold his sword. And it's the usual tab in the palm method here. Just tabs right in. They have Menasaur with his Menasword. So, there you go. So you got that going on. 
And for comparison, here he is with that's that that's not right. That's not that's not right at all. No, get out of here. Get get out of here, Prime. Always trying to hog the spotlight. Uh, anyway. There we go. Here we have them with Ultra B. So you can see how they look together. And again, I, I like this set better. That works for me. I like it. <laughs> so there you have that. And just because here he is with Combiner Wars Minosaur. Just so you can see how they look together. You got that going on right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Robots in Disguise Minosaur. Oh, and for one more comparison, here he is with Warrior Class Megatronus. So, as you can see. Oh, well, they look together. So. Yeah, anyway, there you have the Combiner Force and Minosaur. Again, nothing spectacular. Very simple, very basic, just straight to the point, no frills transformers. Are these the greatest things in the world? No. Are they the worst things in the world? I don't think so. I've, I've had worse. I've had worse. Me personally, anyway. <laughs> but, but of course, people will feel how they want to feel about this, and the comment section will be littered with hyperbole. These are the worst things ever created in the history of mankind. Grr, Hasbro is the devil. Yeah, whatever. Hyperbole is the life's blood of the internet, and without it, it would surely die. So, you know, it's going to happen regardless. But, you know, I can appreciate these for what they are, what they're trying to be. So, you know, they, they have their fun factor. I can see the appeal. So, you know, that's just me. That's just the way I see things. I'm a glass half full kind of guy. So, you know. I have my opinions, you have yours, that's how opinions work. But there you go. So if you like this or any other robots in disguise toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Robots in Disguise playlist, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Robots in Disguise Combiner Force Menasaur. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Ah! Check this out! Got me a combiner of my own, huh? Huh? So what you gonna do now, huh? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay, you know what? You know what? I wanna do over. We're gonna do this whole thing over, and after I say, what are you gonna do? Do anything but that!